In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we can deploy an enterprise root certification authority. So I've come to my server, come to server manager, I'm going to click add rules and features, and this will bring me into wizard. So we'll select next at this point. We'll go for rule based or feature based installation. We're going to go with lawn serve one. We're going to select active directory certificate services. We'll add the additional management features. We won't add any additional features and read through the summary and select next. Next thing we need to do here is we just need to specify our rule services. So the only thing I want this to be is I just want this to be a root CA. So I'm just going to turn on the tick box for certification authority and then we'll select next. And the final thing to do is just select install. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes just to install this. So we'll just pause this presentation and return back once the installation is complete. So the installation is complete. So we'll just select the close button. And now what we've done is we've installed our certificate, certification authority server. So as we can see, we've now got a little exclamation mark. So we'll just select this exclamation mark. And what we'll now do is we'll now configure our active directory certificate services on this server. So the first thing we've got here is just specify our credentials, configure the role services. We're just going to leave that as administrator and select next. Next thing we need to do here is just come into our role services. What we're going to do with our role services is we are going to make the certification authority. And then select next. In the case of the type, we are going to go for an enterprise CA. So we'll select next. In our CA type, we're going to go for root CA. We don't currently have a certification authority installed and select next. And we are going to create a new private key. So we'll select next. And the next little bit here, we've got to specify the cryptographic options. So we're going to stick with the Microsoft Software Key Storage Provider here, but we're all going to actually change our key length. We're going to change our key length to 4096, make it a little bit more secure. We are just going to leave SHA1, but if we could be 100% sure that all of our clients were Windows 7 or above, I would select possibly SHA256. And we'll select next. So the CA name, we'll just need to fill this table out. I'll just ensure that this table is correct. So I'm going to change the common name. I'm just going to change that to a date and root CA. So we'll select next. Validity, uh, validity period, um, I'll leave it as five years. I mean, possibly what I do out there in the real world, I'll probably change this to maybe it's two and select next. Then on my CA database, happy with the default location and select next. Then what we've got here is we've just got the Active Direct Certificate Services. We'll just have a quick read through all of this. Once we're 100% happy with all of this, we'll select our Configure button. So this is now going to go away and configure my Active Direct Certificate Services. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the configuration is complete. As we can see, configuration is now complete, so we'll select our Close button. Next thing to do here is to deploy some subordinate CAs to hand out certificates. And that's the end of this demonstration.